This prophetic encouragement is from Nate Johnston and was published on February 15, 2024. When your foundations are shaking, many people right now are going through intense personal shaking and are struggling to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's different to the refiner's fire, which feels more like an internal spring clean, whereas the shaking has more to do with what is around you, the environments you are in, the companies you are running with, and the ground beneath your feet. Foundations can also be the core beliefs or tenets of what you believe, but they are normally defined by how they are attached to things around you. Think of the Israelites who after 40 years still have Egypt living in their heads. Because of this they weren't fit to step into Canaan and acquire it, so God had to circumcise them as a natural and spiritual act to cleanse them. Joshua 5 verses 2-8 this is what I feel is happening right now. God is dealing with areas we have been in bondage and that has come through our many seasons in different environments, systems, institutions, and streams. The church is not currently fit to inherit the new land before us and the new wine season at our doorstep until God removes the last season from our hearts and from under our feet. The Necessary Shaking Heading into 2024, one of the most clear things the Lord said to me was that this year the church would have their false foundations shaken, have their true foundations strengthened, leave places carrying foundational rot, step into places carrying foundational health, stop building their own thing, start building God's thing again. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations whose architect and builder is God Hebrews 11 verse 10. Chipboard Flooring I have noticed a common thread so far this year, where there is the sudden appearing of platforms or places parading as foundations in a time when God is shaking us free from so many old foundations. They give the appearance of stability in being built by the Lord, but they are nothing more than chipboard flooring and many are falling for them. The reason many are falling for them is because we are in a season where people have never been more desperate for breakthrough. Suddenly someone appears with a stable platform for you to join and it immediately screams yes it has finally come. Only to discover shortly after it's been another ruse and distraction. This has repeated itself over the years causing so much pain and flies in the ointment of callings, preventing what God intended for us. But I say this to say this shaking is coming to bring us wisdom and discernment to know what is Him and what isn't in the days to come. So with this in mind let me define four of the shaking you may be experiencing. Number 1. The Institutional Shaking the first shaking that has already been happening well and truly before 2024 is the shaking of false foundations that were set during years where you poured your heart and soul out into a church environment and lost yourself. These were the seasons where you meant well and just wanted to serve Jesus in your city but it came with a lot of pressure to do more than that. Before you knew it you had sacrificed your time, your family, finances and even health in order to meet the rising demand from these empire environments. If you didn't wise up you may be in a dark place right now of regret and realizing how much you were not building God's church as much as you were building man's need for conquest. And the cost? Often the well-being of your children, your marriage, and your own purpose. In the wake of the shaking and when eyes begin to open it feels like the deepest betrayal to walk out as well as trying to discover who you are again after it's been swallowed up by the wail of the institution. My encouragement to you is this, nothing is wasted and this shaking is your deliverance. Every day you wake up you will get more and more of yourself back until you remember again what you are alive for. Number 2 the shaking of yokes. The second shaking is the shaking of relationships where God is going after wrong yokes that have been like false foundations in your life. 
This process can be painful because these are often the people who you see as being crucial parts of who you are, your identity, and even your purpose. That should be an indicator right there that something is amiss. Often when people have been around long enough to be like furniture in our lives we stop seeing the red flags when they shift into a saboteur instead of a support. That's when the yoke shifts and you begin walking in bondage God never intended for you. He is a jealous God and wants to be the one to be yoked to you but very often we choose to replace God with people who have the wrong heart or intentions, and unless we choose to let Him move them on, we will stay experiencing the same dysfunctions over and over and never experience the breakthrough He wants for us. This shaking is a strength tester to reveal to you who is spiritually keeping up where with God is leading you and those who aren't. It's a tester of Klingons and those after genuine covenant. Many have been lost in the witchcraft swirl of people who have been playing them over and over. They have not received you but have rejected you over and over and it may be time to shake these wrong people who keep holding you back. And as for those who do not receive you, as you go out from that city, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. Luke 9 verse 5 But when they resisted and blasphemed, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your own heads. I am clean. From now on I will go to the Gentiles. Acts 18 verse 6 Number 3 Shaking off the snakes Personally the shaking of foundations is needed because it reveals the areas where the enemy is trying to set us up for failure through wasted effort, misdirected focus, false expectations, and working with the wrong people. But what about the things we can't always easily discern? This is why the shaking is so needed because so many are stuck under assignments they can't even recognize. In a dream, the Lord showed me people who were bitten by poisonous snakes but didn't even know it in the natural this was manifesting as. A sudden distaste for the kingdom. Wanting to give up. A hurt towards God. Disbelief and double-mindedness. Feeling betrayed or misled. Silenced and blocked. Depression and anxiety. A deep soul sickness. The reality, however, was that there were many spiritual assignments slash oppressors that God was dealing with in one fell swoop and the enemy was not happy about at the entry point. Wrong alignments and agreements. Places of hurt and trauma. This shaking was bringing it all to the surface. Remember that God will set you free and cause you to not even have any after effects. But Paul shook the snake off into the fire and suffered no ill effects. The people expected him to swell up or suddenly fall dead. But after waiting a long time and seeing nothing unusual happen to him, they changed their minds and said he was a god. Acts 28 verses 5-6 Suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. Acts 16 verse 26 Number 4. The Shaking That Brings Awakening And we know that the shaking is always a sign of rebirth and awakening which is God's ultimate goal right now. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Acts 4 verse 31 And his voice shook the earth then, but now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heaven. This expression, yet once more, denotes the removing of those things which can be shaken, as of created things, so that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Hebrews 12 verses 26 to 27 The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. 
the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. Psalm 29 verse 18 The shakings aren't a sign of judgment but a way God gets us back into shape and alignment. It's a chiropractic technique of heaven to break what is holding you back and lead you into greater health and fruit. The poison is leaving. I feel like I need to make you aware of something I have felt many times during this process when God is removing false foundations. It's the feeling of poison in my heart that needs to come out. It's the poison of the many seasons and situations sitting there at the surface of your soul and you become highly aware of it. The problem is that it feels like it's impossible to move forward in that state. How do I find my passion and joy again? You have been asking the Lord. The poison feels like a constant reminder of the lost seasons you have been through, the wildernesses you have endured, and the many regrets and failures you have caused. But they aren't coming to the surface to condemn you but to leave you. Don't take it on and don't let it rob you of what is ahead. Lean into the process, let him draw it up and out, and move on. The Heart Reset Lastly, let me share a vision I had in January. In a vision I saw the Lord take a defibrillator and place them over my heart and begin to shock me over and over. It was such a startling thing to see because at the time I was feeling close to God and felt like my heart was in a good place. But the more I prayed into I could sense what was coming to the surface as the Lord shook our hearts, the hidden, tucked away pain and weariness of the previous seasons. The defibrillator was not only there to bring hearts back to life, but to expose what was hidden causing subtle issues. The shaking was separating what was me and what was something else and that's what God is doing right now in you. He is getting you back. Where you have felt lost and given yourself away, it's time to retrieve you from the years and be made whole. God is right now on a rescue mission to bring you back from the battles of other seasons and reconcile you again. You have been decompartmentalized and scattered throughout a myriad of seasons and it's left you double-minded, fractured, and unsettled in soul. But as you lean into the shaking, He is gathering you, healing you, and putting you back together. Here are some verses for this word. James 1 verses 2 to 11 from the Amplified Bible. Consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials. Be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. And let endurance have its perfect result and do a thorough work, so that you may be perfect and completely developed in your faith lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom to guide him through a decision or circumstance, he is to ask of our benevolent God, who gives to everyone generously and without rebuke or blame, and it will be given to him. But he must ask for wisdom and faith, without doubting God's willingness to help, for the one who doubts is like a billowing surge of the sea that is blown about and tossed by the wind. For such a person ought not to think or expect that he will receive anything at all from the Lord, being a double-minded man, unstable and restless in all his ways in everything he thinks, feels, or decides. Let the brother in humble circumstances glory in his high position as a born-again believer, called to the true riches and to be an heir of God. And the rich man is to glory in being humbled by trials revealing human frailty. Knowing true riches are found in the grace of God, for like the flower of the grass he will pass away. For the sun rises with a scorching wind and withers the grass. Its flower falls off and its beauty fades away. So too will the rich man, in the midst of his pursuits, fade away. Psalm 107 verses 20-21 from the Amplified Bible he sent his word and healed them, and rescued them from their destruction. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness, and for his wonderful acts to the children of men. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 from the Amplified Bible 
for I will restore health to you and I will heal your wounds, says the Lord, because they have called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion. No one seeks her and no one cares for her. 2 Timothy 2 verse 19 from the Amplified Bible Nevertheless, the firm foundation of God which He has laid stands sure and unshaken despite attacks, bearing this seal. The Lord knows those who are His, and, let everyone who names the name of the Lord stand apart from wickedness and withdraw from wrongdoing. 1 Corinthians 3 verses 10-13 from the Amplified Bible According to the remarkable grace of God which was given to me to prepare me for my task, like a skillful master builder I laid a foundation, and now another is building on it. But each one must be careful how he builds on it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one which is already laid, which is Jesus Christ. But if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will be clearly shown for what it is. For the day of judgment will disclose it, because it is to be revealed with fire and the fire will test the quality and character and worth of each person's work. Here's a pray-along video for this word. Heavenly Father, You are an almighty, all-powerful, all-loving Father. Thank You, Father, that nothing is wasted and this shaking is You delivering me. Every day I wake up. I get more and more of myself back until I remember again what I am alive for. I am restored, my wounds are healed, and I am whole in Jesus' name. I stand firmly in the foundation that Jesus has built. My heart beat anew and refueled, refreshed, and rejuvenated to run again and not grow tired. I will walk again with you and not faint. I am getting up and getting back in this new day. I am getting back the stolen years, and I am made whole in Jesus' name. Thank you for rescuing me with your right hand, Father. And, sending your angels to make the enemy pay and bring me my spoils. Shame and brokenness are not my portions. I am whole, focused, and single-minded in pursuing your call for me, Father. Thank you for the shaking. And, through this, I am gathered, healed, and whole in Jesus' name. Amen. Where are the John the Baptist voices in the earth? This is the time. This is the season, where the Lord is commissioning those who have felt the heat of the desert, and came out reformed and ready for the front lines. If we are going to see a great reformation in the earth, we have to give the front lines to those who have first been reformed in the dark. You were not buried, you were being reformed for such a time as this. Cultivated, and equipped. And now, we are gathering the voices in even greater consecration, as we develop a tribe of wild ones. And release them into every sphere of life and influence. Join us! To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natanchristie.co.